Okay, so let's get started on our common app. The first section is going to be the profile section. That's what we'll go over in this video. So when you look here on the left hand side, you can see the first um, link down here is for profile. I've already entered in some of this information, but let's scroll through and you can add in your information as you're going along here. So you would put your first or given name, last name, if you have a suffix like junior or senior, um, you can go ahead and add that in. If you have a nickname or a preferred name you go by, it's your option to add that in also. Have you ever used any other names? Yes or no, I have not. Um, and then it's gonna ask you whether you're male or female. And I believe that's one question that's going to change um, as of August 1st. So it might um, be worded slightly different. You might notice that when you log in to the new Common App. Um, there's an opportunity to talk more about your gender identity and then you can go ahead and enter your date of birth and hit continue. So one of the nice things about Common App is that it automatically is saving the information you enter. So as you go through the Common App, you can skip information, but whatever um, information you do plug in, it will be saved. You will want to go ahead and put in your permanent home address. Um, as you start typing your address, it will populate. I'm going to put in the school's address right here and then hit continue. Then for contact details, let's hit continue here. Um, it's going to ask for your preferred phone number, and this is for you. All right, so you can list either your home or your mobile phone number. Hit continue to head into the demographic section. Now I want to point out that none of these questions under the demographic section are required. So you do not need to answer any of these questions. It's completely up to you. So they ask for religious preference, whether um, you serve in the US Armed Forces, if you are Hispanic or Latinx. And then it's going to ask you some more questions. And then the only thing that you do have to um, answer in this section is this question um, that's asking um, whether or not you've completed the section to your satisfaction. So you must check this check mark box here. Um, and that is required. All right. So. The next part of the profile section is asking about geography. So um, you should go ahead and select the country that you were born in, the city you were born in, and the state, and then the number of years you've lived in the US and number of years you've lived outside of the US. And if you answer those differently, more questions may pop up. And we're going to hit continue. So this is a common um, question we're answering in the CRC. Um, what exactly do they mean by being proficient in a language? A lot of times kids will say, you know, I'm an AP Spanish. Does that mean I'm proficient? And really what this question is asking is how many languages are you really speaking on like a daily basis. Mostly, are you speaking a different language at home? So if you um, speak a different language at home, go ahead and put in, you know, two or three languages, whichever, ling you know, whatever applies to you. Mo um, but if you are thinking like just that you're learning Spanish in school and that you're pretty good at an AP Spanish. That's not really what they're asking for. So just go ahead and put one if um, that's your situation. And then it's going to ask you about the languages and then what you're able to do with that language. So you, you know, can check 
first language is spoken at home. I can speak, read, and write, and then hit continue. And if you have more than one language that you're proficient in, it's going to ask you about all of those languages to know what your skill set is. Here you'll see um, there's options for your citizenship status. Um, if you are going to be applying for financial aid, um, you do that by completing the FAFSA when it um, opens in October. And if you are going to be completing that, which the majority of our students do, and it is something we recommend, you do have to type in your social security number. Okay, so um, just know that if that's something you intend on filling out in the future, you're going to need to put your social security number in here so that it can match your application with your eventual financial aid application. Let's hit continue. And then this is asking about a Common App fee waiver. If you are someone who receives free or reduced lunch, um, if you get your fees waived for school, you absolutely qualify for a Common App fee waiver and um, you would select yes if that applies to you. And then it's going to give you um, several different options to say like why it is that you qualify for a fee waiver. Um, and if it is that you, you know, are eligible to participate in the federal free or reduced lunch program, you can go ahead and check that box. Um, if this is something where you're going through um, financial hardships at home and you haven't yet been enrolled in free or reduced lunch, just go ahead and talk to your counselor about that. We definitely can work something out um, and your counselor will help you through that process. And then you will have to sign it if this applies to you. And then it's going to ask about Strive for College. Um, at this point, we recommend putting no unless you really want to receive a lot of additional information, perhaps connecting with a mentor um, to help you through the college process. Really, you have a lot of resources um, with your high school counselor, with the CRC. So um, most students select no for that question. And then you hit continue and it bumps us to the next section, which is family. Um, but notice that Common App is smart. And if you have answered all of the required questions in a section, it's going to put a green check mark next to that section. So you can see along the way the progress that you're making. And if there's a section that doesn't have a check mark next to it, that means that there's a question in there that's required that you have not yet answered. Um, all right, so that's going to do it for the profile section video, and we'll talk about family in the next video.